magic word Here in my secret kindergarten The world's best show for kids is starting The secret kindergarten radio show Use your ears and your imagination We're going to play, we're having fun I'm just kidding. Welcome to the Secret Kindergarten Radio Show on Revolution Radio. Are you feeling sad? Did someone say you're bad? Do you want to cry? Are <laughs> there tears in your eyes? Well, stand yourself up straight before it is too late. And step on through the gate to the Secret Kindergarten with your mate, Gino. Let's play some music. Fly, little bird, across the mountains, fly out over the sea. Come home, little bird, you must be tired, and I have food for thee. Fly, little bird, across the mountains. The cat went fiddly fee, fiddly fee. I bought me a goose, the goose pleased me. I fed my goose under yonder tree. The goose went qua, the duck went slishy sloshy, the hen went chipsy chopsy, the cat went fiddly fee, fiddly fee. I bought me a dog, the dog pleased me. I fed my dog under yonder tree. The dog went boo, the goose went wha. The duck went slishy sloshy, the hen went chipsy chopsy, the cat went fiddly fee, fiddly fee. I bought me a cow, the cow pleased me. I fed my cow under yonder tree. The cow went moo, the dog went boo, the goose went wha, the duck went slishy sloshy, the hen went chipsy chopsy, the cat went fiddly fee, fiddly fee. Yes, I have questions too. Who, who, who are you? Who, who, who are you? Owl, I have some 
questions for you. Where do you live and why do you who? What do you eat and when do you sleep? Yes, I have questions too. Who, who, who are you? Yes, I have questions too. I love owls, and guess what? Two nights ago, we had an owl on our property. And do you know how I knew? This is what I could hear. And that's my owl whistle. But that's what I heard last night on our property. But I can never see it. I can hear the owl, but I can't see the owl. I can't find it properly. Inside the forest, where owls like to hang out, there are these plants called ferns. Now it's a radio show, I can't show you what a fern looks like but I can tell you a little bit about them and I hope maybe this weekend your mom and dad can take you on a walk and you can see a fern for yourself. You might find them in the forest. Usually you're gonna find them in the forest. Here we go. Ferns have been on Earth for 360 million years. The type of ferns we see now have been here for 45 to 50 million years dinosaurs ate ferns ferns were on earth 200 million years before flowers i didn't even know this stuff ferns are helpful in preventing or eliminating pollution because they remove heavy metals from the air and the soil and that is pretty good to know. Today's ferns are not edible because of toxicity. And that might be because of the heavy metals mentioned above. I'm not so sure about that. You ask mommy and daddy to have a look into that for you or with you. Some ferns have a lifespan of 100 years. The height of ferns ranges from 2 inches to 30 feet. Compressed ferns turned into fossil fuel and became the basis for oil and gas. Ferns, this is the craziest part. Ferns reproduce from spores like mushrooms. They don't have seeds or flowers. There are at least 12,000 types of ferns on Earth today, and there may be up to 20,000 different species of ferns. In North America, there are 441 varieties of native ferns. Ferns circulate the water and nutrients, their food, through their veins. So they have the water flowing through them. In the past, there were people who believed if they ate ferns, they would become invisible. Still, others believed ferns protected them against goblins and witches. And in Europe, there's a country called Finland, or at least over that way. And there's a tradition there that one who finds the seed of a fern in bloom on midsummer night will, by possession of it, be guided and able to travel invisibly to the locations where eternally blazing will-o'-the-wisps mark the spot of a hidden treasure. 
and these spots are protected by a spell that prevents anyone but the fern seed holder from ever knowing their locations. And these are the traditions I want us to live by <laughs> with all you young children out there because we live in a magical world. And that is the end of our nature segment. Let's play some music. Flowers grow from the seeds below in every color of the rainbow. Red and yellow, green and blue, pink and purple and orange too. I will pick the flowers I grow in every color of the rainbow. Pink and purple and orange and blue to make a pretty bouquet for you. Shamrock 
and jumped up in a tree. Then he put it in his pocket and he slapped his little knees and he clapped his tiny hands and he stamped his little feet and he said this will bring a little luck to me. Now it's time to read one of Aesop's fables. Story time! It's the lark and her young ones. Here we go. A lark made her nest in a field of young wheat. As the days passed, the wheat stalks grew tall and the young birds too grew in strength. Then one day, when the ripe golden grain waved in the breeze, the farmer and his son came into the field. This wheat is now ready for reaping, said the farmer. We must call in our neighbours and friends to help us harvest it. The young larks in their nest close by were frightened, for they knew they would be in great danger if they did not leave the nest before the reapers came. When the mother lark returned with food for them, they told her what they had heard. Do not be frightened, children, said the mother lark. If the farmer said he would call in his neighbours and friends to help him to do his work, this wheat will not be reaped for a while yet. A few days later, the wheat was so ripe that when the wind shook the stalks, a hail of wheat grains came rustling down on the young lark's heads. If this wheat is not harvested at once, said the farmer, we shall lose half the crop. We cannot wait any longer for help from our friends. Tomorrow we must set to work ourselves. When the young larks told their mother what they had heard that day, she said, Then we must be off at once. When a man decides to do his own work and not depend on anyone else, then you may be sure there will be no more delay. There was much fluttering and trying out of wings that afternoon, and at sunrise next day, when the farmer and his son cut down the grain, they found an empty nest. I'm glad those larks made it out in time. Very clever and wise. Let's listen to some music. J-U-M-P Jump J-U-M-P Jump Can't do like a kangaroo and J-U-M-P Jump J-U-M-P Jump J-U-M-P Jump Can't do like a kangaroo and J-U-M-P Jump It doesn't matter if your legs are short or if they're long Any legs will do to join the jumping in this song J-U-M-P Jump J-U-M-P Jump can you do like a kangaroo and J-U-M-P jump? When you jump on one foot, then it's really called a hop. So can you jump on one foot? Can you hop and can you stop? J-U-M-P jump, J-U-M-P jump. Can you do like a kangaroo and J-U-M-P jump? You can jump and go nowhere or backwards for a time. Now take a jump. J-U-M-P jump, J-U-M-P jump Can you do like a kangaroo and J-U-M-P jump? Now watch the animals do as they do If they don't jump, don't If they do jump, do J-U-M-P jump, J-U-M-P jump 
can you do like a kangaroo and J U M P jump? J U M P jump. J U M P jump. Can you do like a kangaroo and J U M P jump? Can you do like a kangaroo and J U M P jump? Time for another story. I'm going to play you a story, and it's another. It's going to be a Brothers Grimm story. So buckle up, because oftentimes the Brothers Grimm stories are a little bit scary, a little bit spooky, but I think they're always a little bit magical. This one is called the Golden Goose. The Golden Goose. Once upon a time, there was a goose who had beautiful golden feathers. Not far away from this goose lived a poor, a very poor woman, who had two daughters. The goose saw that they had a hard time to get along, and said he to himself, If I give them one after another of my golden feathers, the mother can sell them, and with the money they bring, she and her daughters can then live in comfort. So away the goose flew to the poor woman's house. Seeing the goose, the woman said, "'Why do you come here? We have nothing to give you.' "'But I have something to give you,' said the goose. "'I will give my feathers one by one, and you can sell them for enough so that you and your daughters can live in comfort.' So saying, the goose gave her one of his feathers and then flew away. From time to time he came back, each time leaving another feather." The mother and her daughters sold the beautiful feathers for enough money to keep them in comfort. But one day the mother said to her daughters, Let us not trust this goose. Some day he may fly away and never come back. Then we should be poor again. Let us get all of his feathers the very next time he comes. The daughters said, This will hurt the goose. We will not do such a thing. But the mother was greedy. The next time the golden goose came, she took hold of him with both hands and pulled out every one of his feathers. Now the golden goose had strange feathers. If his feathers are plucked out against his wish, they no longer remain golden, but turn white and are of no more value than chicken feathers. The new ones that come in are not golden, but plain white. As time went on, his feathers grew again, and then he flew away to his home and never came back again. Are you ready for an activity? This one is called Ant or Elephant. <laughs> and this is all about choices because you always have a choice. Okay, just remember that, all you kiddos out there, you always have a choice and you get to choose. So, you tell me, would you rather be an ant or an elephant? What do you reckon? <laughs> and I wonder why. Why would you want to be an ant or why would you want to be an elephant? I would want to be an ant because I already feel like an elephant sometimes. 
that sounded a bit depressing. Let's move on. Would you rather be a goose or a lizard? Which one would you rather be? You gotta tell your mum and dad why. Would you rather be a gorilla? A gorilla! Or a chicken? Which one would you rather be? Would you rather be a dolphin? Or a grasshopper? Well that's a cool game you can play. You can ask your mum and dad what they'd rather be. And they can ask you. We're coming to the end of another half hour of the secret kindergarten. So see you soon. Bye.